uh, after the width mate we have the path mate option here so as it is clear cleared from the path mate that this mate is used to move the components on the path so let me show you um, uh, first of all let me create a path on uh, in the assembly so this path could be a sketch could be um, the uh, lines like this so let me show you uh, make a sketch on uh, on top lane then make normal to by pressing control plus 8 key then use ellipse to create some path like this then press escape button then press this button to save and exit from sketch mode now uh, uh, let's say I'm going to move this part on this part uh, on this path so for that uh, we uh, need in the path made basically we need uh, two uh, we need two uh, components uh, first of all we have to um, specify the path so this is the path and then we need component vortex so basically the component vortex are the points on the uh, on the component which we have to make the mate with the path so let me show you if I click and then open this part separately in another uh, window so this was the uh, if you want to edit this part uh, separately um, in the another video or uh, if you want to open only this part so instead of going uh, to this option open and then uh, locate the part and then open it we can also open this part by clicking on it and then here in the window like this uh, we can select open part so here you can see we had opened this part separately so now we have to create two points or we have to drop two points on this part to specify uh, that um, this component should move on uh, according to these two points on the path so sketch on this face then make normal to by pressing ctrl plus 8 key then drop a point on this origin or you can also uh, drop the point uh, any of the uh, desired location so now press this button to save and exit from sketch mode now I am going to make another point on this uh, phase so sketch on this phase then drop the point on the origin now close this part or uh, you can open directly the assembly so here you can see we had updated the assembly now I am going to make the uh, path mate for these two component vortexes click on mate then uh, in the advanced mates select path mate scroll up you can see here uh, we have the component vortex option and then the path so in the component vortex uh, select this point then uh, in the path selection select this sketch so as you can see um, if I drag my mouse or hover my mouse on uh, this sketch the whole sketch is um, changing its color so showing that you can select all the sketch at one click so if you are you have you are facing the problem in selecting the sketch you can also use selection manager and then you can select the uh, these paths as per these options so if you have a closed loop select closed loop and then select this sketch and if you have an open loop or an open sketch select uh, this option or multiple selection or for group select this option so uh, I'm going to select the closed loop then select this sketch and press ok button so this path mate has been created press ok button again press ok button now let me show you if I click and drag this part this part is uh, um, moving up on the uh, path but uh, it is not aligned with this uh, with the path so as you can see so that is why I had created these two points 
and uh, I'm going to make two path mates for this component one for this uh, com uh, this component vortex and the another uh, for this component vo vortex so again select mate and then scroll down advanced mates and in the advanced mates select path mate now select this component vortex and this sketch press ok button again press ok button so now if I rotate uh, I move this part and you can see this part is aligned with the path and also moving on the path 